Welcome back to this Football Manager 2020 experiment where I have created Mr. Perfect, the greatest footballer of all time. Today it is part three, so if you've missed part one and two, make sure you go and check those out first. Now in part two, I did ask you a question. I asked you whether you would like to see Mr. Perfect move to another club. And these were the results of the poll. 28% of you want him to move to Barcelona, but 24% want him to stay at Liverpool, interestingly. And then there's a bit of a spread across the other teams I suggested. However, the top comment on part two was from someone called Andre Nuno, who said, I think you should make him a free agent, just so we can see where he goes. Which was an interesting idea. So, I have tried that. I thought, first of all, I'd make him a free agent and see where he ends up. Unfortunately, he ended up at Man City and only 5% of you, 11, 11 people voted for Man City as you can see here. So I felt that that wasn't what most people wanted. So I am actually going to move him to Barcelona because that's 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 the club that won the poll. So I think that's fair enough. He's had a magnificent career at Liverpool. 10 seasons, 10 incredible seasons where he's won the, the Ballon d'Or every single year. Uh, player of the season in the Premier League every single year. Loads of goals and assists and man of the matches, etc. Over 100 caps for Italy. So he's had a great time there. He's 26. He's still got plenty of time left in his career. And theoretically, he could play until 100 because I have frozen his attributes. I presume he'll probably retire in his mid-30s. Here he is then at Barcelona. £425,000 a week. I think he's taken a bit of a wage cut because I just moved him to Barcelona and the contract stuff was automatically agreed. He's got a massive loyalty bonus, as you can see there. He's got a minimum fee release clause of £225 million. I could see PSG paying that. So you never know, you might see him move to PSG. I thought we'd take a look at how Barcelona have got on in recent years, uh, just so we can see how much of an impact he actually has at the club. So Barcelona have been fairly dominant. They've won the most recent league title, but prior to that, they um, failed to win the league in the, the three previous seasons. But before that, Barcelona were dominant. So will their dominance continue? I presume so. They've got some really good players in their team, as you would expect from a Barcelona team. They've got Pietro Pellegri, the, the Italian wonder kid, another Italian wonder kid. I don't know what's happened to my face pack, by the way. I do have the faces installed, but after putting Mr. Perfect's face in, the Mr. Men character, uh, yeah, it's it's gone wrong. It's it's removed everyone else, but it doesn't really matter for this experiment. They've got Tonali as well, who I think, didn't he win World Cup Player of the Year, head of Mr. Perfect? The Italian squad is really, really strong, isn't it? Oh, Justin Clivert at the age of 30. Interesting. Anyway, let's holiday a season and see how he gets on in his first year at the club. Here we go then. 27 years old now. 117 caps for Italy. 21 goals. And he's had a rather good season. <laughs> really, really good. His best goal scoring season yet. 47 goals in 53 appearances for the club. 11 of which were penalties. 16 assists. 23 man of the matches. And a really good average rating. Now, since turning the detail level on in part two, the average ratings have dropped. Um, but he's actually playing a lot better. Like the last three seasons have actually been his most productive seasons in terms of goals and assists and that sort of thing. So is he playing in a more attacking role? No, he's still playing left back. It, it's quite funny. I mean, fullbacks are really important in modern day football. But a few years ago... It, you kind of wouldn't expect to have your best players as, as fullbacks, but he's. It still seems strange to play the best player in the world at fullback. Why wouldn't you play him up front? I don't know. I suppose if I'd made him only a natural striker, then that could have been an interesting experiment as well, like having the perfect player just up front. How many goals would he score? He scored forty-seven goals from pr pretty much fullback. He only played seven games outside the back four and he scored 47 goals that is just ridiculous isn't it so i presume barcelona have won the league let's have a look they have 101 points that is an improvement on last year without mr perfect 92 points with him they scored 109 goals that's a massive improvement as well and the defense significantly improved with mr perfect in the back line i feel like he's like a, a, a defensive playmaker at the back I don't know he's just the ultimate player but playing from the back line it's just quite bizarre he was the top goal scorer 41 goals miles ahead of the second top goal scorer best average rating 
Most man of the match awards. Wasn't on the assists. He's here, fourth on the assists. Disappointing performance from him there. <laughs> what a season he has had with Barcelona. How have they got on in other competitions then? Champions League, 5-0 win. So I assume they got through their group. Yep, they did comfortably. They got through to the... Oh, they, they won in the first... Did they win on the first knockout round? But where's the rest of the Champions League? Oh, right, sorry. Away goals. Zebra, Juventus. Uh, one on away goals. They won the first leg three now. So that's a bit unlucky. Mr. Perfect did score in this game. Spanish Cup, they did win. They beat Atletico Madrid. A hat-trick from Mr. Perfect in this game. Playing at left-back, he scored the winning goal with a free kick right into the top right-hand corner in the 90th minute as well. And that won them the cup final. I wonder if the other goal was a... Or one was a penalty. The other goal was... Let's have a look. Is it from a corner? It is. I feel like... He's probably scoring a lot of goals from set pieces. Of course, he scores free kicks, but also because he's just unbelievable in the air, 20 jumping reach, 20 heading, you just get the ball to him from a corner and he'll head it in. And of course, he's got long shots as well. So although he's playing at the back, it doesn't really matter. He's always going to score goals because of that reason. Another year has passed. It's June 2031. Mr. Perfect is 28. Still plenty of football ahead of him. I did say something a bit stupid in part two. I said when he was 26, he's in his prime now. Of course, he's been in his prime his whole career, as someone pointed out. Uh, 130 caps for Italy now, 23 goals. Let's have a look at the World Cup, actually. Ooh, Italy. Didn't win it for a third time in a row. Holland. The Netherlands have finally won their first ever World Cup, beating France 3-2 in the final. But did Italy get through to the semis? No, so they have they must have underperformed here. What has gone on? Where did they get to? Third round... They were defeated by Belgium on penalties. We can't see that game. But yeah, that's disappointing. Italy are still first in the world rankings and they've been first for a long, long time, ever since Mr. Perfect. Well, to be fair, not initially, but Mr. Perfect came into the, the Italian team and eventually they got to number one and they've just stuck stuck around in that position. But look at this. Look how many Barcelona players Italy have. So they've got some quality, not just... Mr. Perfect. They've also got some other stars. Mr. Perfect is the Italian captain and the key player, of course. No surprise there. Anyway, how's Mr. Perfect, Perfect got on in his second season at Barcelona? Not as good in terms of goals, but still pretty good. 31 goals in 53 games. Actually slightly more assists than last year. Same number of um, Man of the Match awards. His average rating is the worst so far in the league. 8.25 overall, though, looking at that. So, where has he played? Left back again. It just seems a waste in my opinion. Play him at least centrally. Like centre back. I don't know. Maybe I suppose full back. You could play him as a marauding centre back that likes to get forward. An op overlapping centre back. If that was a thing on Football Manager that would be it'd be perfect. Oh, he's obviously perfect in any position but I feel like you've got to play someone like this in an attacking role just to get the best out of him. You know he's got incredible defensive attributes as well so play him in a gagan pressing tactic get him running around all over the place he's got 20 on stamina 20 on natural fitness run around win the ball back high up the pitch cause problems utilize him obviously he's the perfect defender as well but i just feel like it is a waste playing him in that position anyway barcelona did win the league again 108 points by the way i didn't look at the barcelona manager did i roberto de Zerbi is the manager of barcelona these days and he helped them to an invincible season, zero defeats, and Mr. Perfect was a huge part of that, of course. Top goal scorer again, top average rating, second on man of the matches this year, though, but second on assists, so he did help a bit more at creating goals, I suppose. But it is a third title in a row for Barcelona. Let's have a look at Mr. Perfect's stats for those interested shots on target ratio oh they went into the euro cup this year interesting look at all the headers and dribbles he tries in the league it really is incredible 155 tackles so barcelona dropped into the euro cup did they yeah they did so they actually failed to get out their group that is a huge shock so it must have been head-to-head -head performances against porto dortmund went through so Mr. Perfect playing in the Europa League this season, which is just disgraceful, really, isn't it? So, did they win the Europa League? No, they were defeated by Spurs in the quarter-final. 
on away goals again. Uh, Spanish Cup, they did win that again for the second time in a row, beating Real Madrid in the final, which is always good, of course. Mr. Perfect with a goal in this one. Mr. Penalty, 21 penalties. He misses a few. I suppose you can't score them all. And this was Mr. Perfect's goal then. So it looks like he was playing in a more advanced role here with his bald head. Number four. Just doesn't seem right. He has to be number 10. The best player of the world. It has to be number 10. Nice finish though. Oh, he was playing left back. So he just got forwards. Man of the match performance and a goal from him in the Spanish Cup final. What has he achieved in his career then in terms of awards? Oh, so many. So many. These are all the cup competitions and various things he's managed to win. So he's, of course, managed to win the Premier League title a few times with Liverpool, with the Champions League. He's not won it with um, Barcelona yet, though. Two Spanish first division titles, Le uh, La Liga, and two Spanish Cups. Um, but yeah, he's, he wants to win that Champions League with Barcelona, I'm sure, because, of course, Champions League-wise, with Liverpool, very successful. Since he's left Liverpool... They haven't managed to get through to the Champions League final. It's been PSG and Chelsea winning it. Liverpool failed to win the league. So they did win it last year. But, or did they? Wait, let's go back. No, they didn't. So the first season without Mr. Perfect, Liverpool dropped to second. And then this year they dropped to third. The Mr. Perfect effect. Klopp's still in charge, by the way. Uh, they've still got loads of money. Like, it didn't really matter that they lost him in terms of monetary terms because they've got so much money. Huge way, uh, pan, uh, transfer budget, etc. And getting 450 k off the wage budget would have helped, I suppose, financially as well. But you'd rather have Mr. Perfect, of course. You wouldn't swap that for reducing your wage budget, would you? But there we go. So it's definitely had an impact on Liverpool with Mr. Perfect leaving. Europa League. These have been the, the recent winners for those of you that are interested. What was I looking at? Oh, yeah, the awards. I got distracted. So he's won so many different awards. I'm sure he's won, yeah, team of the season. Top goal scorer, obviously, obviously the last two years. Player of the year, Mr. Perfect twice in a row. And I think that's everything, isn't it? But he has picked up award after award. Those are all the competitions, which we've already seen. Transfers, obviously, just the one. And what's this? Broke the Barcelona record for the highest average rating in a season with 8.86. So that's in the Euro Cup. And all these other records that he's managed to break, either for Barcelona, Italy or Liverpool. Sensational stuff. There's no surprises. It's, you expect it. Here's his biography as it stands at the age of 28. Let's keep going. Let's keep holidaying. Mr. Perfect is now 29 years old. Is he still playing for Italy? Has his caps gone up? Has he, re has he retired from international duty? I hope not. He's still there. He's still captain. No, he's not. It maybe just I've misremembered. It's got such to such a high figure. I can't remember what he had the previous years. I think I don't think he's got any more goals. Might be wrong, but I don't think he has. So with Barcelona this year, another incredible season. Forty-one goals in all competitions. Not not quite as good as his first season, but it's better than last year. Eleven assists, twenty-four man of the match awards. Really good, impressive average rating again. And Barcelona have won the league for a fourth season in a row. 104 points, a second unbeaten season in a row. Mr. Perfect managed to score 40 league goals again. Really good average rating. Man of the match 15 times. That means he only scored one goal outside of the league this year, which was in, I presume, the Champions League. Let's have a look to see how they get on this year in the Champions League. Let's go down. So they got out their group this time around. They Did they win the Spanish Cup again? They, they got through the first knocker round of the Champions League. They got through the quarter-final, but they were defeated by Mr. Perfect's old team, Liverpool, in the semi-final. That is That must have felt good for Liverpool, beating Mr. Perfect's Barcelona. Uh, where's the Spanish Cup? They lost in the second this uh, the semi-final against Atlet Athletic Bilbao. So not the best season, really. But they certainly did better in the Champions League. So it was a Liverpool versus Man City final. And Liverpool won it again. They didn't need Mr. Perfect to win the Champions League. Interesting. It's Mr. Perfect regretting leaving Liverpool now. Possibly. This is the Barcelona team. There's Mr. Perfect. Where did he play this year then? Presume left back again. Yes, 40 games at left back. Oh, he's being wasted. I, I kind of want to keep him here until he wins the Champions League. Maybe just one more season. If they don't win it then, we'll, we'll rethink. Maybe should move on again. Perhaps we should release him and see where he turns up. He has won the Ballon d'Or every single season. He is <laughs> unstoppable. 
Absolutely unstoppable. Mbappe, now 33 years old, has missed out on the Ballon d'Or because of this Mr. Perfect chap turning up. He's got 107 goals in 176 games for France. Just imagine if Mr. Perfect was playing up front, how many goals he would have. And most recently, Thiago finishing second behind Mr. Perfect, Argentinian central attacking midfielder. Assume it's the same for the Footballer of the Year. World Player of the Year is the same. I think it's Footballer of the Year where, yeah, Mbappé managed to win it in 2025. Voting points, as you can see. That's quite interesting looking at the voting points. Why would you not vote for Mr. Perfect? He's just un un incredible. Well, Team of the Year, he'll have featured in all of these as well, of course. Mainly at left back in recent years, which I presume means in the overall best 11. No, he's still at centre back in the overall best 11. This is the last season update in today's video then. Mr. Perfect is now 30 years old, still playing for Barcelona. He's now reached 151 caps for Italy. But the big question is, has he managed to win the Champions League with them? No. Liverpool have won it again for a second season in a row. So there was an initial drop after they lost Mr. Perfect, but they have quickly recovered. Now, perhaps the longevity of Liverpool's success is down to Mr. Perfect. They had the best player of all time for 10 seasons, winning numerous things. So Mr. Perfect has probably had a very positive impact on Liverpool as a club. You know, their their world status is even more impressive than, than it was before Mr. Perfect joined. They'll be adored by millions, if not billions of people around the world by this point. So it's, I guess it's no surprise that they have continued to be successful. They did win the league this season and last season as well. So they did fail to win two in a row, but they have recovered very quickly. So that's quite interesting. So Mr. Perfect perhaps should have stayed at Liverpool. But I think for the sake of this, this sort of mini experiment series, it made sense to move him somewhere else to see how he, how he got on. He, on a personal level, has actually been better at Barcelona in, Barcelona in terms of goals but maybe that's because of the old cliche of La Liga not being as strong as the Premier League. So the bottom half of La Liga, perhaps the teams are a bit weaker than the bottom half of the Premier League. So he's able to score more goals. That's obviously a controversial statement, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I want you guys to let me know what you think I should do with him for the last few years of his career. He's now 30, but obviously this isn't going to decline because we have frozen his attributes. So he could play at this level for how, however long he wants to. So in the comment section below, let me know. I'm not going to make a video for a few days because I'm actually away over the next couple of days. So it gives you time to, to make some suggestions in the comment section below. And then I will either move him on to a different team. I'll, I'll just see what the popular comments are. It might be that you want me to, to release him. You might want to move him back to Liverpool. You might want to move him to a weak team and see how he gets on in like a much lower rated team, like bottom of the Premier League. Or I don't think there's any point moving him to like a ridiculously low team because first it will bankrupt them. I suppose we could implement a much lower wage, but he's going to move. Someone else will buy him and that's the issue. So we can't move him to a really, really weak team, I don't think. We can always give it a go and see what happens, I suppose. That's what these experiments are all about. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you'd like me to do for part four. But let's just focus on this last season for the time being. 36 goals this year, 16 assists, 29 man of the match um, awards. And he's actually got the best rating so far at Barcelona. And a very impressive overall rating as well. So Barcelona did win the league again for the fourth, fifth season in a row, fourth season in a row for Mr. Perfect. And they, this is incredible. Three unbeaten seasons in a row. Mr. Perfect has only ever lost three league games with Barcelona, which were all in that first season. Since then, they've gone unbeaten. They've scored over 100 goals every single, uh, yeah, every single season that he was there. Their defense has dramatically improved as well. Only 11 goals conceded in both of the last two seasons. They are completely dominant in Spain, but for whatever reason, they're not able to replicate that in European competition. Some of the English teams are just too strong for them now. Mr. Perfect top goal scorer, top average rating, top man of the match award, uh, third on the assists as well. Incredible stuff. I'm sure he's, we've already looked at the, the detail level of these stats previously, but I'm sure he's top on a lot of things. Average minutes per goal, shots, shots on target. For someone that is playing primarily at left back, 
It really is quite sensational what he has achieved with those statistics. Let's see how they got on then in the Champions League. They failed to, to get to win it, of course, uh, but they did get through to the first knockout round, as you can see there. They lost the Spanish Cup final on penalties this time around. Mr. Perfect missed a penalty. The penalty shootout is missing a few, isn't he? And they were knocked out by Inter in the first knockout round of the Champions League, which is a disappointing result. I just feel like, yes, Mr. Perfect can have an amazing influence from the back line. He can dribble all the way up the pitch from his own back line. But I still think, in, especially in the big games, play him in central midfield, attacking midfield up front. Just use his his skill set in a more attacking way. Because against teams like Inter, they just it just didn't work for them. So why don't you just stick him in a more attacking role and see the carnage that he can cause up front or in midfield at the very least. So I think that's a bit strange. Um, but I don't know, maybe you think differently. Maybe it makes sense for Mr. Perfect to, to play from the back line and just work his way up the pitch, dribble past everyone, put brilliant passes over the top, cross balls in go up for set pieces and head them in or score free kicks, etc. So, I don't know. Interesting at Barcelona, he didn't have a yearly wage rise, so he has been stuck on 425k a week. Only, only on 425k a week for the last four years. Uh, his minimum fee release clause has gone up though, hasn't it? And he gets 15% of any transfer fee. So if someone bought him for that, he'd get a hell of a lot of money, wouldn't he? I suppose in... Is, is it Spain they've got lower tax or higher tax in the UK? Because that's 195... I don't know. That's over half of his wages. So maybe Spain's tax brackets are a little bit higher these days. I don't really know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I think we'll end it there. Mr. Perfect, at the age of 30, has stunned the world. All right, I just want to check the Ballon d'Or. Uh, yeah, he's continued to win that. Oh, European Championships. I, did, I looked at the World Cup, but I forgot to look at the European Championships, if I can spell it correctly. Italy have won it again. So England won it in 2028, but Italy beat Holland in the 2032 competition, which is the most recent one, of course. Let's just check the final. I don't know if we'll be able to click on it. We can't. But let's just check the awards to see if Mr. Perfect managed to win things. Yes, he won the Best Player Award. Three goals, two assists, 8.21 average rating. In the dream team, of course, uh, Golden Boot. He wasn't featured because he only scored a couple goals. But really good stuff from Italy. Really good stuff from Mr. Perfect. But yes, we will end it there. Until next time, enjoy FM20. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know what you think I should do in part four with Mr. Perfect. I will see you very soon.